Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Uh, big news. Big news today out of the Kremlin. I'm sorry, I misread that. Uh, White House. Um, uh, here's the deal, y'all. Uh, you know how there's all this smoke about the idea that Trump and his folks colluded with the Russians to influence the election, and the Trump liberals saying, like, there's nothing to see here? Well, I spy with my little eye <laughs> the Attorney General of the United States. Because it turns out Jeff Sessions spoke with the Russian ambassador twice during Trump's campaign, even though at his confirmation hearing, Sessions was asked this by Senator Al Franken about reports of collusion. These documents also allegedly say, quote, there was a continuing exchange of information during the campaign between Trump's surrogates and intermediaries for the Russian government. If there is any evidence that anyone affiliated with the Trump campaign communicated with the Russian government in the course of this campaign, what will you do? Senator Franken, I'm not aware of uh, any of those activities. I have been called a surrogate at a time or two in that campaign, and I didn't have not have communications with the Russians. Franken... <laughs> Franken didn't even ask if you were involved. <laughs> Why did you volunteer to lie? Well, I'd be happy to answer your question, Senator, but first, let me stand on this uh, rickety chair next to a full bathtub. Please hand me that toaster and plug it in, if you will. Perhaps an English muffin or two down here. Yeah. What was your question again? <laughs> no, officer, I did not see who stabbed the gentleman. By the way, as a young man, my name was Stabby Jack. But these days, I control my thirst for blood with pure old-fashioned strangling. What was the question again? Now, uh, the Russian guy uh, that he spoke to is Sergei Kislyak, the same Russian ambassador that Michael Flynn talked to before he got the old Kislyak of death. <laughs> now, Sessions' office had an explanation. They said that Sessions did not lie. They say he wasn't meeting Kislyak as a surrogate. He met with the Russian ambassador in his capacity as a member of the armed services panel. Honey! I wasn't having sex with her as your husband. <laughs> I was humping her in my capacity as a member of the armed services panel. <laughs> totally different. So now, folks on both sides, big humping fans. fans Huge them. humping fans here tonight. <laughs> One imagines. Now, both sides of the aisle have called on Sessions to recuse himself from any Russian investigation. And this afternoon, Sessions agreed. I have recused myself uh, in the matters uh, that deal with the Trump campaign. You called yourself a campaign surrogate, then you lied under oath that you never met with the Russians, so you don't have to recuse yourself, because you've already <laughs> yourself. <laughs> now, 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 we don't have to bleep that, right? We don't have to bleep that. <laughs> there you have it. That's how it goes. And we probably wouldn't even know this much about the Trump campaign's Russian connections if it weren't for some last-minute work by the Obama administration. According to a new report... <laughs> according to a new report, Obama officials fought to preserve evidence of Russian election meddling. It's a good idea. Though I do believe there is one large piece of evidence sitting in the Oval Office right now. <laughs> The Obama folks were worried. This is why they did it. The Obama folks were worried that after Trump took office, the intelligence could be covered up or destroyed. Yes, Trump could bury it where the public would never see it. Maybe with his taxes. <laughs> it was all an effort to leave a clear trail of intelligence for government investigators. Oh, oh, it's a scavenger hunt with clues hidden throughout the government. <laughs> the figures. movie National Treasure is finally coming true. <laughs> Nicholas Cage, quick, check the back of the Constitution. I knew it! Vladimir Putin's phone number! <laughs> I knew there was something like that. Also, 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 maybe check the front of the Constitution, because there's some writing on that side that's pretty damning to Trump, too.
Now, Congress has finally started its Russia investigation, with House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes saying, on a bipartisan basis, we will fully investigate all the evidence we collect and follow that evidence wherever it leads. Well, bring a flashlight, because it's pretty dark up Putin's butt. <laughs> you know, one, of these, one of these things. <laughs> Mr. Trump! Um, um. <laughs> now, things are... Batter battery will go down unless you turn it off. Things are getting serious because the White House staff has been told to preserve all Russia-related materials. So you hear that, Mr. President? Do not get that mattress steam cleaned yet. <laughs> Speaking of... Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Uh, I like that joke, too. <laughs> Speaking of Donald Trump, uh, and while his attorney general was uh, going up in flames, Trump was down in Virginia addressing the military in Newport News or as he calls it, Newport Fake News. <laughs> uh, Trump gave a speech on the deck of the brand new carrier USS Gerald Ford, and he debuted a new look. You know, they just gave me this beautiful jacket. They said, here, Mr. President, please take this home. I said, let me wear it. And then they gave me the beautiful hat, and I said, you know, maybe I'll do that. I have no idea how it looked. Like Grandpa just stepped out of the changing room at the Army Surplus store? <laughs> Just, what do you think? What do you think? Do you buy it? <laughs> Trump proved right away that he understands the modern U.S. Navy. It really feels like a place. You stand on that deck and you feel like you're standing on a very big piece of land, but this is better than land. Congratulations. <laughs> You've just described a boat. It's like land. It's like land. It's like land on water, but it's dry. It's, it's like a hotel, but it's on its side. It's not sinking, and there's no room service. The worst. And as befits the commander-in-chief, Trump went out of his way to compliment the men and women in uniform. Our Navy is great. Our Navy is great. Our people are great. Great. Your vocabulary, on the other hand, could use some work. <laughs> but everything else, great. <laughs> now say hi to John Baptiste and stay here with everyone.